Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me on this video today. I know I've been gone from YouTube a while, but my next few videos are going to be a little bit different. I'll be doing a series involving something I'm very passionate about, as I think we all should be, the environment. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup look to raise awareness about climate change and global warming. So I'll be talking about that as you watch me create. So why is climate change such a big deal? Since 1906, the average surface temperature of the planet has increased by 0.6 to 0.9 degrees Celsius. This rise in temperature has been caused by human activity, and in my opinion, people that say they don't believe in climate change are making excuses to do nothing. But we need to act now. Our doings can have devastating effects if they continue. Not only will sea levels rise, but there will be an increase in all kinds of extreme weather, including longer droughts, harsher floods, and more intense storms. This will affect the production of food, including crops and livestock. Excess emissions would see the air and sea become more polluted and acidic. It will affect the coral reef and many other species. It's predicted that in the next 10 to 100 years, every beloved animal character in every children's book will fail to adapt and ultimately go extinct. At record pace, we have increased the extinction of animals by 1,000% to normal rate. 1,000%. This is obviously not only due to climate change, there are other factors, but it's a massive, massive part of it. A lot of us like to blame corporate companies for this, but we need to take responsibility and realise that we are the reason, we are the consumers, and we are the ones who need to change. 40% of Arctic sea ice has disappeared in the last 30 years, and in 100 years, sea levels would rise by a metre, displacing 10% of the world's population, a third of all life on Earth faces extinction. A one degree temperature increase can eliminate fresh water from a third of the planet in just 85 years, leaving millions of people without water. And if all that isn't scary enough, the trees that literally create the air that we breathe and keep us alive are being cut down at a rate of 40 football fields every minute. That's 50% of all trees in the world gone in the last 100 years, because of us. Scientists say we can still avoid a 2 degree rise if we limit our carbon emissions to no more than 2.9 trillion tonnes. We've already used 1.9 trillion tonnes, meaning we have 1 trillion tonnes left to use between now and forever. At the current rate, we'll use it in 21 years. To save nature is to save ourselves. And as Richard Williams, or better known as Prince A, once said, Whatever you're fighting for, racism, poverty, feminism, gay rights, or any type of equality, it won't matter in the least, because if we don't all work together to save the environment, we will be equally extinct. So what can we do to help? Obviously, recycle, which I think a lot of people are becoming more aware of and doing. You can get reusable shopping bags, straws and bottles, etc. for when you get your coffee or water, so you don't have to use single-use plastics. Try to go without paper as much as you can. With most people having phones nowadays, it's so easy to switch to an electronic diary and notepad, or if you must use paper, use both sides of it to be more eco-friendly. Cars and other transport emit a lot of CO2, so by walking or cycling to places instead of driving, it will help cut back those emissions. Another way to help the environment is to cut back on electricity, turning lights, TV, and any electrical items off when you're not using them. If everyone does these little things, it will make a massive difference. To cut back on water use, fill up the dishwasher or washing machine before using them, or have a short shower instead of a bath. If you really want to go that extra step, you can even plant a tree, or any plant for that matter, will help. For each video in this series, I've decided to promote an item of clothing, obviously not sponsored, that you can buy to help make a change. In this video, I don't actually have a charity that I'm going to talk about, but I will link some below if anyone would like to donate or help out in some way. But instead of this, the clothing brand I'm going to be talking about is actually a pretty little thing. The fashion industry is one of the most polluting industries in the world due to its contribution to greenhouse gases. And fast fashion, where brands bring out cheap clothing often to meet the latest fashion trends, has become increasingly popular since the 80s. This leads to a lot of clothing being thrown away. 2014 owned 60% more clothing items compared to the average consumer in the 2000s, whilst wearing those clothes for only half as long. Thrifting, buying from charity shops, or buying second-hand clothing can help reduce this. A great second-hand online shop is Depop, which you guys know I sell a lot of stuff on there, and I also buy from there as well. I'm not a perfect person, I will occasionally buy something new, but I think if we can all reduce the amount of clothes we buy and make little changes to our life to help the environment, it will have a massive effect. 
Pretty Little Thing have recently launched a recycled collection to help the unnecessary pile-up of clothes in landfills. So if you do want to buy something brand new, this is a great way to do that. Now for those of you that just came to see the makeup, first of all, thank you for watching this far. I created this whole look just using face paints, eyeshadows and eyeliner. And I pretty much used all the same techniques that I've used in my other previous videos of shading, highlighting. And one of my biggest tips for those of you trying to get a realistic piece on your face is to just use a reference photo and just keep repeatingly looking at that photo as you do the makeup. That's the best advice I can give you. Um, honestly, I was happy with this makeup, but you know, I was a little bit disappointed with the proportions of the polar bear. Um, yeah, he just looks a bit distorted, but it's fine, you know, at least I tried. And it was my first time creating something like this. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and most importantly, you know, learned something and took something from the information that I give you. I know I sort of just shouted facts at you for most of it, but it is such an important thing to educate yourself about and make a difference. So yeah, I really look forward to making the rest of this series and I hope you are too and I will see you in my next video. Bye!